There's only one bright region on the sun right now, and it's facing Earth, and yet the HF bands are still struggling. How can this be? Those stories and more in the news this week. Space weather this week is really quieting down. We did have high hopes for region 2703 as it rotated into the Earth view. It had been firing off some low-level flares and even some solar storms, but since then it has really fizzled. It's not even considered an active region anymore, and it hasn't really boosted the solar flux enough to allow you amateur radio operators and emergency responders anything but poor radio conditions, and that's what you're dealing with now, and you will continue to deal with that. Meanwhile, we do have a coronal hole that's following that just off to the east, and that should be rotating into the Earth strike zone here in about a week, so at least your war photographers have something to look forward to. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are pretty quiet right now, and that's pretty much how we're going to stay. We do have the possibility of a little bit of activity from a remnant coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here in the next day, but it's probably not going to do all that much. At high latitudes, NOAA is expecting unsettled conditions with only about a 20 to 30 percent chance of a minor storm. So you might get a little bit of aurora at high latitudes over the next couple days. At mid-latitudes, we're expecting unsettled to normal conditions with only about a 25% chance of active conditions. So most likely, we're not going to see any aurora at mid-latitudes. But we do have some chance for some solar storming at mid-latitudes here in the next week. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, as we continue to approach solar minimum, I continue to say everything is in the green when it comes to solar flares. We had high hopes for region 2703, but it has since fizzled out, and now we're dealing with a spotless sun. Uh, that region has kind of dived a bit and submerged underneath the sun's surface just a little bit, but that's what's causing the solar flux to be so low. You poor amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you are still dealing with a poor radio propagation, and it looks like that's going to continue easily through the next week. So the space weather this week continues to be pretty quiet. Now, even though we have the only bright region on the sun right now facing Earth, it's underperforming. That's pretty much all I can say. So you amateur radio operators and emergency responders, you are still dealing with uh, poor radio propagation conditions, and it will likely continue like that throughout the week. But this region is showing signs of life here and there, so we will continue to keep our eye on it. Now, as far as your GPS operators, you're in really good shape. You should be able to have some very clean signals on the day side. And with the unsettled conditions from this uh, remnant coronal hole that's bringing us a little bit of activity, it actually might stable the atmosphere just enough to give you some good conditions on the night side as well. Now, as far as your aurora photographers are concerned, that same bit of instability will uh, bring some aurora to high latitudes, maybe just a little bit, but for the real strong aurora, you're going to have to wait another week. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.